G'day everybody, today Rado runs through my father's work, but before we get started please turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel so you'll know when we make any rules goose. And if you've done that, well we're not Rado, we're Amy and Maggie, and we're helping Rado cover more games, games like this one, My Father's Work. Yes, welcome to My Father's Work, where we find ourselves as mad scientists, but really I feel like we're misunderstood, uh, that's, that's what they call us in town. I will say we have probably a bit of a uh, questionable ethics, but all we're going to be doing is we're in the Victorian uh, era and we're going to try we, we we've got one page from our father's journal with their um, invention that they were their masterwork or masterpiece and for my father as actually the time machine with some basic instructions of how I might be able to um, come around and, and, and help build that because he didn't get a chance to do it during uh, his lifetime. Mm. However, I probably won't get a chance to do it during my lifetime, but I will have three generations to get through um, all of this and see if maybe my, uh, my, uh, my children's children might be able to manage to do this. We start out with this wonderful, uh, basic, very humble estate, and we're going to yeah make our way through a whole range of different experiments, uh, increase our knowledge in uh, different sciences, and uh, yeah, hopefully eventually get to the point where we have uh, accrued enough resources, enough knowledge, and enough experience to complete our father's work. Ultimately, all of these things are going to give us points, and the best scientist will be the winner in the form of most points by the end most of points. the game. Most points by the end of three generations. And I am playing to try and complete my father's teleportation device. And it's going to take a lot of work to uh, work up to that final masterpiece. Now, before we get started with the run through, it's important to note that in my father's work, there are three different campaigns. We've selected just one of those, the cost of disease, uh, to set up and play through in this run through. However, we'll note that there will be spoilers. So um, if you don't want spoilers, this is probably not a great run through to watch, jump through to the final thoughts. Um, but we, if you're okay with that, we're going to give you two basic options. There's going to be some text on the screen where you can read in detail the campaign story. We won't read that out loud to keep the gameplay flowing quite quickly because it is quite a long game with that campaign and we're going to try and work through the entire first generation so let's get into it. Alright so we first have to start out with the app so there's a companion app that will actually move you through the story um, we will get to take a couple of choices one is the, um, the, uh, the audio voice there's some areas that are read but a lot of it isn't a lot of it you're going to have to do all the reading yourself so it's a two player game <clears throat> and I'm going to take a screenshot of this to put on the screen we'll put like you can um, pause that and read that if you like um, but we're actually going to just continue now we get to put in our names because the app is going to instruct certain people to uh, do certain actions or to take the iPad and read the next section whether that's uh, out loud uh, or in secret just going to put our names. Mm -hmm. I didn't get very creative with our names, probably because it's going to make it um, harder otherwise. <laughs> so we're like, wait, who was this again? Was this me? Was this you? All right. And the village is going to be called... Think of Themaville. <laughs> Could have been something shorter, but sure. <laughs> I'll make you feel it up. Uh, while Maggie's doing that, I'll talk a bit about the setup. So Can't even. It's too long. <laughs> Just thinker theme or v. v. It got short. Thinker theme v. Along in history. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, in terms of the setup, it's, be, it's very straightforward because all of the game setup uh, is campaign independent. There is a book in the center of the table though, and the campaign is going to instruct us which page to turn to for the worker placement component of the game. All right, it'll uh, ask you to choose the scenario. As uh, Amy said, there's three that come with the box. The cost of disease is the one that we'll be going through today. We have completed the standard setup and then the actual um, app will let us know where to put the, the markers. So this, this um, pitchfork and fire is the mob, the angry mob marker. And the other one is the suspicion marker, which again, the campaign will let us know. Again, I'll just take screenshots of all of these. All right, and we're going to be putting we're going to be putting some text on the screen and you can pause that and read it if you so wish. 
To summarize, we just received some information from Dr. Ben Wallace about some very vague, <laughs> um, supernatural uh, kind of potentially supernatural series of events. Yes. Um, no further information. No further information. But was here's provided. more text. So again, feel free to pause on the screen if you so like and read the whole thing. Now, if you didn't read all of that text, basically what's happened is we are siblings who have arrived at a village, and in this village we noticed a foul stench in the air. Mm. Um, the yellow fever has taken over uh, the village, and the bishop has asked us for help to contribute and donate to the church. Well, we are scientists, and so you know maybe we can contribute and, and help uh, with some of the healing or things maybe. like that with the people who are we'll um, see what happens. afflicted. So as part of the setup, it's uh, asking us to retrieve some cards from the box. Mm -hmm. so. The dubious bartering cards from the scenario box. So we're going to shuffle them and give each player a dubious bartering card and return the rest it's of the box. Them. Okay. It's placed face up near their estate and is activated each time the listed action is taken. So mine is various chemical concoctions. So I will gain a heart token when completing a chemistry type experiment. And this is probably a good time to introduce experiments. So experiments in the game take the form of A, B and C and they increase in difficulty. Um, the cards themselves are going to have conditions on them. So of course there is a cost that we need to pay in resources that we're going to collect around the village, which you'll see in a moment. Um, but we're doing that in order to complete these different experiments. And then they are going to act as a symbol, which is basically a condition for the next level of card. So in order to uh, fulfill an A. We don't need anything in terms of previous experiments, but that will give us an A. And then in order to do a B, we need to have completed an A experiment. So kind of you need to work your way up to C and then ultimately to your father's work, which requires one A, two B and three Cs yes. in order to complete. So my... Um... Mine one is reconstructed animal remains. I don't like the sound of that. Gain a heart token when completing a biology type experiment. Oh, dubious, dubious bartering. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not a big fan of my dubious bartering. Um, and the experiments all have a different type or categorization. There are four different categorizations that are shown on the board as well. So we've got blue, which is chemistry. Green, which is biology. biology, which Maggie is going to try and complete. I'm doing blue ones. Um, yellow is engineering and the gray is occult. And you can see that reflected in the border on the experiment cards as well. So All let's right. get into more let's setup. Let's carry on. Okay. So now retrieve the, um, these are the reading tokens or the book tokens, and we're going to place one on the space three of the insanity track. So this is the insanity track. The more crazy and outlandish things you're doing as a scientist, the more insanity that you're going to be um, kind of getting and needing to get rid of by the end of a generation yes. or else you end up with these maladjustments. Mal maladjustments. Mal yeah, there's compulsions and maladjustments that we can uh, end up I with. I always forget the thematic term, um, which are going to be really problematic things that are going to hinder your progress in the game. And we're going to be placing another one of these tokens and the space four of this is our creep track which is when we do things that are a little bit creepy to the local town folk, then we're going to be growing in that creepy... We're drawing attention to yeah. ourselves because we're yeah. getting creepier and creepier. Okay. So that what that will mean is usually when things when we reach those points, a piece of story will be triggered. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's going to tell us where to put the mob and where to put the suspicion marker, which are going to kind of dictate um, the the extent of how angry the 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 local townsfolk will get. But also at what point, if we if our creep um, factor grows to that level, at what point are we not going to be able to go back into town because we just can't show our face? So you've placed them both in the mm -hmm. right position. So seven and uh, we go. And the app will also determine who is going to be the first player. This instance where it's making us to turn to the page one. Mm -hmm. This, uh, the Village Chronicle actually has um, maps for each individual campaign. So this is the cost of disease cost of and disease. it's asking us to turn to page one of the book. This looks like the village there that we're go. going into. So this is our village that we've arrived in. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to need the heart tokens from the box and, and keep them at supply. And we're going to give the start player to Maggie. Maggie That's is me. the start player. So the app is going to give us several different uh, areas of note. So let's have a quick look at the town. So it looks like uh, build a hospital is one of the uh, one of the things. So the church, I believe, is going to be the yeah. The church can no longer handle the influx of the disease and needs to expand their facilities. Each time a player visits the church, they may donate funds and assist towards building a new hospital by paying money to the supply. Depending on the amount we're going to be able to receive um, the benefits. So either reduce our creepiness by one, two or three based on if we pay um, zero, if we just go there, if we pay one or two coins. Anything else? So then there's the two um, story points. If we reach them, we would read that. And then at the end of the, uh, at the round of the round, we would read um, the, that final event. So yeah. for the meantime, we can put this away. And we can kind of get started with the game, which is exciting. So um, these are the three members of our household that are going to act as our workers that we can place out onto the village. We have three different types of workers. We've got ourself, which is shown by this hexagon shape at the bottom of our uh, little miniature here. We've got our spouse, which has this circle uh, with these little nodes coming off it. And then we also have a caretaker. A caretaker has a square base and this caretaker, uh, which makes sense, can't go out into the village. The caretaker is going to stay and perform only the actions that um, are within your player board. So you have some estate actions available to you. Um, you, of course, can go into town or onto the estate board, but your spouse is quite limited. Your spouse likes to go out to the village. That's okay. But when they go out and perform actions on your board, they're actually going to be lost forever. They've, They've seen, seen too much. much. They've yeah, seen too much. They're out. They're not into this, yeah. uh, you know, uh, experimenting that you're doing uh, at home. Yes. And so I might just put these over to the side because this is the lost area where as we're playing um, our characters are going to get lost but suffice to say that there are additional workers that we're going to be able to recruit but at the moment they are currently out of the game. That's where they would usually live. We can kind of move them out so that they're not cluttering the mm -hmm. um, the board at, at the time, yeah. at the moment. So there's a couple of options in terms of the, the actions that I could take. I could either go out on the town uh, or I could stay home and take, take some kind of action here. So we should say as we start out some of the, the starting resources we start out with obviously our father's work. Um, my father's work is actually a time machine, which is an engineering type of, um, of experiment, which you can note by the, the yellow border. In order for me to eventually complete my time machine, I'm going to have to have completed an A experiment, two B experiments and three C experiments. It's quite a lot. Um, but also I'm going to need some resources like a gear and a um, one of these uh, chemical um, bottles. But more importantly, there's a lot of knowledge that I need to have attained. So this is the knowledge that is tracked over here. So I'm going to need to eventually have three um, of the engineering knowledge. This is going to happen a lot. It's very easy for these to tip <laughs> over. So that's just giving you a heads up. Um, I actually quite like the markers just in case you can't see them. They're all unique, but I'm based on each, um, uh, each, no, see, they've all collapsed. So I'm just going to put them maybe lying down like that. Um, so I'm going to need three of the engineering um, knowledge eventually and three of the chemical um, knowledge. We all start out at the start of the round. We actually start or at the start of a generation, I should say. We start with uh, one of each. We haven't actually drawn. We can draw an extra one. Mm -hmm. So we haven't done yeah. that. So we haven't done our start of round activities yet. So the first thing we need to do is take $3 each. So we'll start each round with $3 and you need money to get things done in this game. And yep. in this particular one, I think the app is hinting at we need to donate to the church. Yes, it's a good um, idea. And then the next thing we do, and you can follow this turn sequence, is that we will draw a card from any available deck. So um, we can choose an A, B or C there. So usually the A experiments are going to be a lot easier, obviously, to, to complete. As Amy said, they usually just require one or maybe two um, uh, resources. I'm selecting a B. I'm going to select an A. And the other thing about them is they're very good at giving you knowledge. Knowledge is very good because one of the things that we can do is store knowledge, which as we, um, and that's one of the activities that we do on our, um, on our house, our estate. Once we do that, as this marker is moving forward, we're going to actually be able to have that as ongoing knowledge that we can apply to any Permanent other yeah, resources, future like. experiments, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. So I've picked up another A. Um, can you actually get the little heart? Oh, you've already got the, the heart I already tokens. Got the hearts. Great. Right. The other thing that we have is we activate any powers that we have from mm -hmm. our estate. At the moment, we all start with a storage shed, which just says at the start of each generation, gain one resource of your choice. 
So if I look at all of my um, all of my uh, experiments, I can see that there's a lot of them. The biology ones really need the um, animals. Yeah. So there are two types of resources. There are knowledge in the game. These are the ones that are going to be permanently stored, and that's important because future generations require those resources. But between generations, you're going to lose everything or mostly everything. So、mm. it is a good idea to get that knowledge stored away. The other type of resource are ingredients, and they take different. Different gruesome forms, like animals for the biology experiments.、Mm -hmm. um, I am interested in these dead bodies because I am trying to do this a、um, uh, occult style experiment, and my teleportation is also occult. So I want to try and work towards that. So as my free resource, I'm going to take a dead body. Well, this is where I'm very divided because. What、my reconstructed animal remains、uh, dubious. Bartering requires me. I, I'm going to be able to gain these hearts when I complete biology type experiments. However, I tend to not enjoy the biology type experiments because there's a lot of like you know messing with animals, which I don't enjoy. And also,、mm. ultimately, my time machine and my father's work and all of my is, is in the engineering area. I know, but I'm a bit worried、animals. about not collecting hearts. I don't have、I'm, any chemistry ones.、So. I'm going to. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to go. You know what? You go collect hearts. I'll see. I, no, I'll I see can't what... get any hearts, so you'd be very easy to take me on because、oh. I've got no chemistry. I, normally, I wouldn't tell Maggie that.、Mm, of course, the,、yeah. the experiments are secret. But if, for this example, I am not going to be collecting hearts. Maybe I will.、Uh, maybe I will have to give in、um, yeah. and and collect. I think the app have, is have my, hinting at these things that you need. I'll, to I'll have.、Uh, I'll collect. I'll have one animal as my free resource,、um, okay. just so that I can complete maybe one. I'll give them one. All right.、Those. Now let's get into the worker placement. Maggie,、right. it's your. First, I'm first, first player. player, so I've got an option of all these three workers. As we said before, if I actually one of the things that we haven't said is if I myself as the self go into town,、mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be able to take double action. So whatever spot I go into, I get to take that action twice, unless it's got this little、um, icon there that says times one, the hexagon times one, which means it's limited.、Um, the other thing is, let's have a look. I I'm yeah. Obviously, starting out is very early days, but maybe I will. Actually, stay home and perform the first experiment, which I really don't enjoy. This <laughs> small mammal vivisection, which is going to oh no, my elephant! This is awful. This is no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm going to my my themer self won't allow me to to do it. I know that you're meant to just suspend your disbelief and go with it, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand my ground. So what I'm going to do.、Um, We haven't even seen what the options are that we have here. We have the builder's office, which is going to allow us to purchase new estates to bring and、uh, uh, upgrades to、um, enhance our our estate. And some of those things are going to give us、um, bonuses, sometimes immediately, sometimes ongoing. So that's quite good.、Um, what else?、Uh, we can go and get resources, so more animals from the farmers market, gears from the blacksmith, or chemicals from the park. I don't know why you're getting chemicals from the park. What kind of park is this? <laughs>、um, there's a traveling caravan where I can get some of the occult knowledge, which is the the sort of dark black cubes. But if I do that, I'm going to be getting hard. My, I'm gonna my creep、uh, factor is going to increase,、mm -hmm. so that's not a good thing. Town hall. The only thing this would allow is for the mob to become less angry, so it actually moves the mob the opposite direction. At the moment, it's not really an issue, and the cemetery is. Where、um, you would get bodies、mm -hmm. or corpses, but that not only does that make you look creepy to the town, but it also brings the mob closer to you, to all of us, really. So those are my options there. In terms of here, I could either well, recording knowledge is when where I'd be moving these these along. But at the moment, I don't have any knowledge. I haven't run any experiments.、Um, my estate affairs. Actually, I might end up doing an estate affair, which is it allows me to. Um, draw three experiments of whatever type I like and keep one, or just get a coin. But I've got coins at the moment, but I'm not happy with my experiments. So that's I think what I'm going to do. And the other option will be to run an experiment.、Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to send my.、Um, actually, I can send a servant to do this、um, this estate affair.、Uh, affair. A servant, or you don't have a servant yet, but your I don't have a servant. Yeah, effectively acts the same as a servant. Which you know, what is that trying to say? I mean, <laughs> so、relatable. I can send. I can send us. Yeah, I can send us. Servant there or my spouse there, but the spouse is also very handy to go into town. So I probably just send my、um, caretaker to the state affairs so that I can draw three experiments. So I'm actually going to get them all from A. So I'm going to draw three A experiments.、Um, and before actually the ones that I had, so I had an A, B, actually two A's.、Uh, 
uh, a B and a C. Two of them were biology experiments, which I'm not really all that keen on because they all take animals. Um, one was this, the engineering one, which is quite good. That's actually one of the things that I want to work my way towards. And uh, the other one is an occult one. So let's see. I really want some more engineering ones. So maybe, okay, this one. Yeah, well, I can do the light magnification, which is going to require a, um, a gear. There's an occult one, the solution of essential fluids, which requires a corpse. And then there's effects of poisonous plant life. Oh no, so this requires chemicals and an animal. My poor elephant, I'm really regretting having drawn that elephant now. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. So maybe I will, I'm actually gonna keep this light magnification one. Mm -hmm. and get rid of these two. Usually when we discard them, we discard them face down to the bottom of that deck. So that's it. That's my action. Okay. Well, I've been thinking about where I'd like to place a worker and I think I'm going to go and check out the builder's office. Now, I'm going to send out... I My choices are limited here, but I might send out my little servant to go here because I can't, can, I can't Your take spouse, that. spouse, you mean? Oh, sorry, my <laughs> spouse. Because I can't take my act, that action twice, can I, with myself? Um, um, well, it doesn't say not to. Well, so okay, yeah. maybe I will then. That seems to make sense. So If you can afford it. If yeah. I can afford it. So I'm going to go to the builder's office. One thing to note about the worker placement spots is that you're, if you're the first person to go there, it doesn't cost you any additional uh, money. But if someone else is going there and you're using a servant or a spouse, you need to pay a dollar in order to access that worker placement mm. spot. But I'm going to the builder's office with myself, which means I can basically spend my three dollars to get two upgrades now i can very quickly see there's one for two dollars and one for one dollar which makes sense but i'll talk through what they are so the first two dollar one is a hedge maze so it, it will allow me to gain one victory point at the end of each round mm. now that's pretty good at the start of the game because i will get one vp every round and there's going to be nine rounds in the game so well eight more uh, so that's interesting. When I when I take that one though, it is going to make me a little bit crazy, um, creepier to the town. Mm -hmm. I've got formal dehyde. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. It's the chemical. Oh, formaldehyde. formaldehyde. I'm like formal dehyde. Formal it sounds like dehyde. A, a formal no, formaldehyde where I hide stuff. Um, you may hold one additional completed experiment between generations. Now that's uh, really important in this game because. As we're completing experiments and trying to work up to our father's work, uh, at the end of each generation, you're only allowed to store one completed experiment. Usually you would try and store the most difficult one um, and then you really need to start from scratch again. So that could be really great. However, it's $5 and I don't have enough money. Mm. So maybe I'll think about that later. Um, there's Hound. So once per generation, if the angry mob uh, token overtakes you, you can move it backwards until it is one space away. That's a really good mm. way to mitigate against, uh, you know, the mob overtaking us because once that mob overtakes us, we can't go to the village. Um, scenic Overlook. This one, again, I can't afford it. It's $4, but once per generation is a free action. I can record knowledge paying all normal costs. That's great because I'll be able to store some of my knowledge resource cubes mm -hmm. as permanent resource cubes without having to go to record knowledge as an action on my board, so saving me a worker. But I can do it twice and there's a clear two and one here, which is all of my money. So I'm going mm -hmm. to spend all of my money and pop that into my estate here. Um, it has to follow the last one that you placed. And you can see that as you start to build past the first two, it's going to also cost money to place there. So $1 and then $2. So luckily these ones are free because I don't have any more money. Now my hedge maze is going to increase my creepiness. So yeah. Maggie, if you could please increase there my creepiness. And that's my turn over. All right, wonderful. So now we're back to me. And now I'm sort of looking at my experiments and going, okay, I've got a couple of of my experiments that I would like to run and they require gears so maybe I'll start with that also this light magnification when I complete it it's going to give me uh, those yellow uh, engineering um, knowledge cubes and also a victory point which I then could use for my next uh, mechanical sta stabilizer so I think I'm going to start with this one but first I'm going to need some of those gears so if I were to myself
myself go into town, I'd be able to collect two gears. However, if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to run an experiment because you'll see here if um, with the next turn, if I want to run an experiment, if I'm going to have a round type uh, worker doing it, including my spouse, I would need two of them. So my spouse by themselves is not going to be able to run the experiment. It would need, uh, they would need uh, assistance. Not so, only that, if you had them, they would be lost. They would go, yeah, they've seen too much. So I'm actually just going to uh, my blissfully um, ignorant spouse, not knowing what I'm working on, just going to say, hey, um, honey, can you go into town? Can you go to the blacksmith and get me a gear? Um, and uh, she says, yes, absolutely, I can. And just one other thing I should say about these, these miniatures. Do you have a range of miniatures and you're allowed to, you can use whatever miniature you want to put on those bases. So you'll see the configurations between Amy's miniatures and mine are completely different. So I have a same sex uh, spouse uh, kind of uh, marriage situation going on here. You can have, you know, you can combine any them in gender, any way that you yeah, like. Any and gender just... can be your servants. Any gender can be yeah. your caretakers. Any so that's pretty cool. So I've yes. got my gear, and that's the turn for me. And I'm going to conduct an experiment. So in order to do that, I again I can't do that with my spouse either because I'd require uh, to be paired with a servant. So I'm going to use my, uh, what are these called? Your caretaker. Your caretaker. Caretaker is going to perform an experiment and I'm going to perform the only one that I can afford, which is divining from the tarot. By this method, I hope to determine if the fate of man is random or deterministic. Ooh. So I will pay this dead body to do this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to because it is an occult style, um, increase your insanity. It is going to uh, experiment. It's going to increase my insanity, which gets me one of these afflictions. No, these I think it's a compulsion. A compulsion. It says that on the bottom. Mm? Like oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll talk about that in a second though, because the other things I get are two of the occult style knowledge. Mm -hmm. So these are going to go here. The good thing about the occult knowledge is it can be used um, when it is required on an experiment. So it shows this gray square or it can be used as a wild. But when you use it as a wild, it increases your insanity. Mm. So I've got two of those and one victory point, please. Maybe. Okay, so you're on the board. And this is now a completed experiment. So I'm just going to put this up here for now. Okay. And this is the card that I got from the insanity track, which says that I must complete an A level experiment. Now this can't be um, the one that you just can't did. be the one that I just did. So now I need to do that. And if I do, I get two victory points. But the important thing about these is that if I have collected two of these and not completed them by the end of the generation, that's when I get one of these maladjustments, maladjustments which are the negative effects that uh, will affect you for the entire next generation. So yeah. it's something that you hand down to your next generation for you know, not doing what you were meant to. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to put that here to remind me that I need to do that. Not a great thing. And so not now great. back to my turn. Mm -hmm. So with myself, I'm just going to run that experiment. I'm going to run the light magnification, which is only going to cost me that one gear. Uh, and it's going to give me two of these engineering uh, type knowledge, which in later turns, I'm going to try and bank. So I'll want to record that knowledge. So now that this has been completed. You also get a victory point. I do get a victory point. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty handy. And now I've completed an A experiment as well. Nice. Okay. Um, so yeah. Well, I am now going to think about what to do with my last worker. Um, I could record this knowledge so that I have these resources next generation, but I might be able to spend them in the final two rounds of the generation. So I'm actually going to go to estate affairs and try and get some better, more differentiated um, experiments. Now, I know I need to complete an A-level experiment and I have none left in my hand. So I might grab two of these and a mm -hmm. B that's going to be Ooh. my three and I get to choose one and see I've picked up this brain transplantation which is an occult style so it does require this occult resource which I have so that's pretty appealing that's a B though that's not going to help me with this A level or these A's are really simple to complete and they're going to give me some different types of resources. Oh, mm -hmm. what to do? <laughs> None of these resources that they give me are useful for the rest of the cards I have in my hand. So I have a bad combination of cards here. Um, so I might just take this brain transplantation and hopefully I can pick up an A-level experiment later on. So All right. That is so, the last of my turn. So now I would pass. 
and then Amy would pass. Because once, we have no workers yeah, left. Yeah, we have no, no workers left. So as soon as everyone passes, then that's the end of this round, which is the early years of this generation yeah. one. Yeah, so now we click on the app to let it know that we've finished um, this round and it will instruct us of what to do next because it's not always the case that we go straight into end of round. Yeah. So let's have a look here. It says perform all end of round actions. Okay. So end of round, um, any servants on the insanity track can uh, will become lost. So sometimes if you become too insane, you're going to start losing your workers. So that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't done that. Return all of our pieces to our quarters. So, so we, we move back all our quarters. workers back up there. We pass the start player token clockwise. And then we discard the bottom two upgrades that are available out of the game. Mm -hmm. And we slide these down and draw two more. So we have a nice fresh lot of estate upgrades there available to us. And now we will continue in the app. Okay. And so so now it start. says to perform all start, start of round actions. actions for the middle years. So we move this to middle years. And now we gain $3. So we're going to gain $3 each. So Maggie, take mm -hmm. $3. Oh, I'm going to be uh, flush with cash now. Got and a we lot of money. get to draw a card from any available deck. I'm going to take an A and try Me and get too. a good A. Me too. I am a. desperate for A's. So we've got another occult um, experiment there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've got some text here to read. I'm going to, again, take a screenshot of this, put it on the screen. You can pause and read it if you would like. To summarize what the story has just told us, we are now going to have the option to bring on some apprentices because they're failing in their study. So mm -hmm. we've received a letter from a trusted colleague letting right. us know. So look. So now each player pays one dollar and gains a servant from Lost and places it in their quarters. Ooh, that's it. Awesome. So we've just got our start of round money. So we'll pay a dollar and now we get to bring in one of the round base servants into our quarters. Okay. Yep. And then. And now we're back to the same action. So the build hospital action and then the two story markers that get triggered and then the um, the at the end of the round. I uh, will add that at the bottom of uh, the last action says political pandering might require more than simple, simply a silver tongue and a bright smile. Be sure to have some extra capital on oh. hand. Um, as the need may arise under election season. That's hinting that we might need to have some money left over at the end of this round or the end of the generation because something's going to happen that mm. requires some capital. So good to know, good to know. I'm going to keep some money on hand. Okay. All right. So I am first in this new round and thinking about where I want to go. So I've picked up steam propulsion and this is a chem uh, sorry, this is a biology based experiment, but I really want to try and get a chemistry type experiment so that I can get some of these hearts because I'm worried what's going to happen if I don't get any of these hearts. Um, and I also need to complete an A level experiment. So I've got a lot of things going mm. on here now that I need to think about. This is quite an expensive A level ingredient or, um, uh, experiment because it requires this gear and an animal. Uh, not happy about that. Maybe I should go for my level B and just ignore everything else and get some, yeah, because I've already got one of these occult resources. So let's do that. I'm going to go and use myself to go to the cemetery. Ooh. And that allows me to do the action twice. And that's great because I need two dead bodies for this. Yeah. So I'm going to get my two dead bodies. But I have to pay for that by angering the mob. Yes, so I'll move you over. You only have to pay the penalty once, even if yourself is taking the action twice. So that's up one in the creep, and the mob, mob comes is coming closer towards, me. towards us. Sorry. Well, towards us both. You're raising a lot of suspicion in Sorry. town for I all mean, scientists and all hanging researchers. Hanging out, being creepy in the cemetery tends to do that. So. All right, yes, it, it would. <laughs> so now let's have a look and see what I can do. So now I've got more workers. I've got a fair bit of money. I'm just looking at, you know, what are the other actions that we have here? Servants quarters. So once per uh, generation, you can add an extra servant. That's really handy because at the start, at the end of a generation, we lose pretty much everybody and we go back to our very, very basic setup. So that's a pretty handy way of um, starting with a bit of a boost. However, it's quite expensive and apparently it's going to be a good idea to keep some <gasps> money. I what didn't happened? gain my VP at the end of the round. 
Sorry, oh, is, it, is it each round? Each oh, that's round. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that. That is pretty good. Mm. So that's very attractive, but I don't have enough money for that. Get an additional dollar a start of each round. That's good for income. Um, let's see, what are these ones? You may hold three experiments in your hand between generations. It's another great thing because usually in between generations we lose most of our experiments. We lose so everything. the incomplete ones that we have in hand, we usually are only able to keep one. And the completed ones, again, we're usually able to keep one. So that, that's quite an advantage. After completing A or B experiment, um, regain one sanity. Oh, that's good. It's because then it means that it would bring this back. At the moment, I'm doing pretty well. And it's quite expensive. So I won't, I won't go with that. Let's have a look. I do have my two knowledge. Um, I could just record. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I want to um, record some knowledge. So I'm going to use my caretaker to go there and record some knowledge. In terms of recording knowledge, I would pay for each level knowledge. It tells you above the board how many cubes you'd have to um, pay. So the first one, um, I'm going to do my yellow um, engineering. So that's going to go up one. And so I'm going to pay one. And with that, if for subsequent ones, for the second row, I would need two. For the third one, three. But I'm also going to be gaining different abilities. So when we go on to the second row, each one of these levels is going to give me a bonus. So for example, with chemical um, or chemistry, it's second going to column, give me, yeah, yeah the <laughs> second column. So it's going to give me an extra uh, servant. So except, same thing as this at the start of every generation. Um, for biology, store two extra resources between generations, which is again another really handy thing because we would lose all money and all resources in between generations. This one acts as a permanent B experiment, which is great because they're really difficult to, to achieve. Um, these ones for the occult are bad things because occult is a little bit like because they act as wild. This is a way Creepy. of kind of balancing that. So yeah, but that one would actually be moving the mob uh, closer. The final um, column, however, that's a really exciting one because these are these vanity tiles that we haven't even talked about yet. This is probably one of the only ways of gaining these. These are going to be again upgrade um, upgrades for our estate, but they usually will have end game points mm -hmm. or different um, really uh, like exciting end game abilities. So um, I've paid that. The other thing that this allows me to do when I record knowledge is based on the number of knowledge that I recorded, it's going to allow me to swap or get rid of um, experiments in my hand and swap them for others, even if it's a different level. So I definitely want to get rid of my biology one because I dislike, I'm going to keep my elephant as my pet and he's going to be very well loved <laughs> and cared for. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to draw another A experiment, ah, which I'm much happier with because this one's going to be microscopy studies. It just takes a gear. It's in my engineering type area. So that's going to be another one that I'll use later on. I could have swapped that, you know, the, the, that biology one for a B or a C, but um, at the moment, I'm I don't have a lot of knowledge. I want to I want to build that up. Well, I'm thinking about hearts. And so for my turn, I, you know, in order to get hearts here, I need to do a chemical um, experiment. But this one's You're quite... a biology one? Oh, no, yours, sorry. yours is a chemical. A chemistry, yeah, and I don't yeah, have one, blue. actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I always think it's the green. I don't have any chemistry mm. type. And that's just going to take me a lot of time to recruit new ones. So I'm actually going to shortcut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out, so let me think about this. I think I'll send out a servant to the church. Oh yeah, good one. And now I'm gonna spend my remaining $2 here mm -hmm. to get three hearts. Oh wow, yeah. I, I am completely neglecting and the hearts. Reduce, is that or do you think, or at the same no, time? No, I think it, it happens, it, both oh. things happen. So, so you're I become gonna... less creepy as well, thank you. So times three, yeah. is that three? All yeah. the way back to the All start. All the way back to the start. Oh no. And I've got three hearts for some unknown reason yet to find out. Oh, I'm really stressed about these hearts and the fact that uh, I, haven't, I haven't attained any. Now, if I were to go... I mean, if you killed your elephant. I'm not killing my elephant. That elephant, I'm very attached to that elephant. Um, That's fair. Yes, my, my beautiful element elephant is going to have a long and prosperous <laughs> life um, in my estate. Until the end of the generation. Until the end of the generation <laughs> where, you know, he, he passes of natural causes. So again, I've got my microscopic studies. It's going to give me, again, another one, another two of my engineering knowledge, which I'm very attached to um, as well. This one is quite, well, this is a B level. So for my B level there's too many things that I'm going to need from a mechanical stabilizer. I'm going to need gears and I'm going to need more knowledge. So I won't go there yet, even though there's, um, yeah, there's, there's a fair bit of uh, points there. One other thing I should say is with level C experiments, 
they give you a bonus because they know that it's harder to achieve in generations one and two, you actually get additional points. So not only do they give you 10 points if you just do them, you know, just for doing them, but if you do them in um, generation one, you get an extra eight points. That's 18 points, which is almost as much as building my father's work would give mm. me at the very end. And if I build it in generation two, it's an extra four points. You gotta work pretty hard. But you do have resources. to work pretty hard. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna try and keep working towards my, my level A engineering and see if I can record more knowledge. Um, I, just, I, am, I am a little bit anxious that I haven't collected any hearts, but I'm going to risk it. I'm just going to be one of those selfish uh, scientists that is just worried on uh, recording my own knowledge. So I'm going to go and get some gears, and I know that gears are quite um, popular, so I'm going to send myself out to the blacksmith so I can get two gears for my turn. And mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, well, I think I am going to do an experiment. I considered storing this for later, which would be a great long-term strategy, but I'm going for the short term. So I'm going to do a, trans, uh, a brain transplantation. Uh, so I need to use a caretaker to perform an experiment. I'm going to pay two dead bodies. I'm going to play one occult, and then I'm going to use the other occult as a wild for a blue chemistry mm. resource. And that means I, because I'm using it as a wild, I'm going to increase in insanity and uh-oh, get another compulsion. So this one says I must record knowledge. How ironic, <laughs> um, because I should have done that. Um, but I'm gonna put that there. That will give me one VP. Mm -hmm. Now I know I need to complete um, these before the end of the generation. Otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. And I believe oh, your creep, your creep my creepiness goes back is going up. up too. Well, guess what? It's going mm -hmm. up again because oh, that's an no. outcome of this brain transplantation. Okay. So please that increase it again. I get one of these cool little chemistry bottle potion resources mm -hmm. um, and a six, six VP. VP. Oh, you're away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I've completed an A and a B. Okay. All done. Mm -hmm. Now I've realized the error of my ways because I really wanted to complete this experiment now that I've got my gear, but I sent myself to town when I could have just sent, you know, a servant or my spouse. Uh. And now and the only way that I can complete an experiment is if I send both my servant and my spouse to do it and they're not going to be happy. They're going to be lost. They're gonna, they would have seen too much. They would have been very put off by uh, the things that I'm working on. So do I risk uh, losing those two, which uh, that's, that's quite a big thing to, um, to lose. Or do I want to ref <clears throat> the estate affairs refresh some of my experiments and try and get some better ones? Or let's go into town. Maybe we'll go into town. Maybe we'll build some um, some upgrades. So let's build. What is this? So the secret entrance. So maybe I'll build the servant's quarter. So I'm actually going to send my servant into the builder's office and get And you my... do have the option of sending two workers to the same yes. spot. So you could send your spouse as well and do two upgrades. But I cannot afford that. I, I can barely no, afford one. No, I only have five. I can barely. I guess if I, if I did do both, I could do a three and a two uh, coin mm. ones. Mm. Not telling you what to do. I know. Yeah. No, I think I well now I'm looking at what are my other what other resources might I need to complete other experiments. I think what I'll do is I'll go estate affairs after that with them um, with my other one. So I'm only gonna get one. I'm just gonna get my um, servants quarters, um, which is going to cost me three. And that is it. What does the servant's quarter? <clears throat> so the servant's quarter servant is <clears throat> one one additional servant per at the start of my generation, okay. which is good because we usually would, wouldn't start with one. I'm just going to use my spouse to go to estate affairs and grab some new cards. I'm conscious I need to do an A level experiment, so I'm going to select three A's and hopefully one needs this little potion. <gasps> yes, excellent. Oh, and it's a chemistry experiment, perfect, which means I yes. can get some hearts. Uh, yes, I'm going to take this wildflower extraction and purification. I don't need any more of these. What are they? These engineering, the engineering. Those are the ones that I want. Too Why many. I'm just going to put them at the bottom of the deck just no, for you. No, not to the bottom of the deck. Yep, it's your turn. Okay, so now I have my last piece. And that's, that's my spouse is just going to do some estate affairs. And oh, do I want some money? Um, maybe I want some money. Maybe I want some money. That's just one coin. Or I can refresh some of these. I do have some of these that I don't care for. So maybe I will get rid of, um, so what we do is we draw three. So I'm actually gonna do draw one, two, do I wanna do another? Yeah, I'll do all three A's and see, oh, these are great because it's a combination of um, chemistry and engineering. So this one's gonna need, oh, oh, 
initial animal trials. No, I'm my, I've, I've committed to not doing anything to my beautiful elephant, so I probably won't do that one. Uh, this one needs two gears, which I now have, and it's going to give me three, um, three, um, so this is the pressurized goggles, three yellow knowledge, three engineering knowledge, and two oh, points, two and I've already gears. got them, so mm. that's going to be ready to do next, um, next round. Or the good earth procurement. Oh, that gives me a bit of a variety, but and one extra point. But I think I'm going to keep this one because I'm, I'd be ready to do ready that to one. Ready to go on that so one. So I'll put these ones down here. Okay, so and now that's it. we've reached the end of the round again. So we head back to the app to click on end of round to see what's going to happen. Okay. And it looks like there's going to be a special event. End of round. The middle of the year, so the first generation has ended. Perform all end of round actions. End of actions. round actions. Can I please have my end of round um, VP? What do you... Oh, yeah, you're one point. Oh, no, look how far Just away you point. are. Yes. Um, and now end of round, any servants here would be lost, but there aren't any. Return mm -hmm. all your pieces to your quarters. So I'll bring these ones back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pass the start player token clockwise, and then we discard the bottom two, bottom two. estate upgrades, and we bring out two more. And then what does the rest say? And on now here? perform start of round, because now we're going into the late years. We're into okay, our late start years of, round. of this generation. So we get three dollars. One, two, three. And we get to draw a card from any available deck. Mm. I know I'm going to be able to get my A, so I'm going to go for a B. Well, I've already got that A that I really want to do, so maybe I will draw. Oh, what to do? What to do? Uh, maybe I'll draw a B and hope for the best. Got an occult. Mm, not ideal, but maybe. Maybe. Okay, so now we continue on the app. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. There's a lot of text. There's so a lot of text, so I'm going to some... take a, a screenshot of this, put it on screen. Pause and read it if you like. Now, the main decision that the story is giving us is telling us that the mayor has died and there's going to be an election for a new mayor. And you want to become the new mayor because you'll get three victory points and a choice of whether to build a bank to get income or a library to get knowledge. So that's a pretty important choice. Mm. How is our village going to evolve? Yes, I have a feeling that that's probably where the money's going to come in. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever can run the most profitable campaign. <laughs> Yeah, oh, so, special event. Special event. So all players take all of their money into oh, their hands. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Maggie has a lot of money. <laughs> all of our money into our hands. Then we secretly choose any amount to place into their right hand to bid on becoming mayor. Mm. Once all players are ready, we're going to reveal the amount of money bid simultaneously and the player that bid the most is going to win the election. Only the player that wins the election must pay their bid to the supply Ooh, or then others then return their money to their estates. Once you're ready, that. click to start the bid. So we click on the start bidding and we get a three two, one, reveal. I did three. Oh, what happens three. if we if we are tied? You knew I had three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why pay more than what I need to? So it's saying the family has made their first mark on the history of the town for good or ill. It will be several years before they understand the ominous ramifications of the decision. Uh, it was clear that life in Thinker Themerville would never again be the same. Mm. The, in, in the case of a tie, the player who went last in turn order in the previous round, which was me. No. That, oh, this? we just moved it, yeah. didn't we? Well, oh, did, yeah. Didn't we just move it? We did just move okay, it, yeah. yes. So actually, it was you. So Maggie wins, and Maggie so has I spend, to spend... I get my $3 back, which so I guess is a good thing. I spend my 3 and that's part of the setup. I get 3 points, 3 VP immediately. And you three. get a commemorative mare coin. Whee! I'm find this commemorative Oh, yeah, we need to find the, the coin from the box. Finally, we choose if we would like to build a bank or a library. <gasps> Bank or library? I feel like a library is a, is a better... Um, do you want money or knowledge? Knowledge. I am very hungry for knowledge still, so I'm going to say library. Bank. For each visit to the bank, gain $2. The mayor, the, the mayor player, which would be me, will also immediately gain one point for building the bank. If we build the library... Here's oh, thank you. Oh, this is my special token. coin. There you go. That's to say, I'm the mayor. Where should or I put library. it? library. I'll put it, I'll put it maybe Are here. you still sure I, that I you want to build know. the library? Wait, so in the library, for each visit to the library, I gain one knowledge of your choice, not a cult. Which, which building would the mayor like to... I, I'm very hungry for knowledge. I'm going to build a library. So do you get that when I go there? No, no, no. I don't get it. It's whenever anyone goes there, okay. um, yeah, gets, gets a knowledge of their choice. It's going to be a knowledge, a source for knowledge, as all mm. libraries are. All right, I'm going to pause this. Uh, we can, you can pause the screen if you like to read this text. 
Now to summarize, a woman has appeared with a letter mm -hmm. and um, this is going to allow us to gain a servant from loss. So we're going to get another servant, which is great. Uh, so adding that in. They're a busy, I was just crowded looking for estate. the library building, but I think it's going to appear on a page. So let's continue and see what else the app has to say. Turn to page three. Ooh. There we go. Hopefully the library is printed on here. So one, oh, the other way. the other way. Three, here we go. There we go. Okay, so now you can see we've got a new worker placement spot called the library. When you go there, you increase your creepiness. Why? Why but is getting knowledge so creepy? I guess it's a sign doing, of man? the times. It's a sign of the times. <laughs> um, and you get to choose the type of knowledge that you get there. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now we have the library. A new library has been built in town. For each visit to the library, gain one knowledge of your choice, not a cult. And you will also gain a creepy. We still have the build a hospital. Well, that's interesting because the church can no longer handle the influx of the disease. So every time we go that's, there, that's we're going to be same. contributing. Yeah. Yep. So that's, yeah, that's the same. At the end of the generation, the player with the most hard tokens will gain five points. If there's a tie, Ooh. all tie players gain five points. Oh, no, do you have three? I have three. That's going to be, a, unless I send all my, oh, no, three, because that's only, I oh, that's only $2. one. Yeah, that's only $2. That's mm -hmm. not a bad, oh, but I've spent all my money becoming mayor. This is this is what I get. Choices. This is what I get. <laughs> uh, the mark of genius, so that's yep, the that's two. that's the story. Okay, right. so now we get into it again, and you're first player. I am first player. Now let's have a look. I did have my microscopic studies, which I was very fond of. I think I'm going to start by um, running this experiment. So I'm going to send my caretaker to run that. Actually, now I'm thinking I could get my caretaker to run that experiment because I really want to record more knowledge um, later on. But what else is going on in town? So we have this whole hearts thing, mm -hmm. which I'm still, I'm still in the running. I, it doesn't, it wouldn't take that long. If I wait for Amy to go there first, then it's going to cost me an extra uh, coin. But mm -hmm. at the moment, I only have two coins. Actually, oh, this is really hard because, yeah. It, so if I go there now, I would, could spend two coins and get three hearts. But then all it would take is Amy going in there, you know, and spending nothing to get another. Well, she'd have to spend at least one coin. I don't know what to do. What to do? What are the new um, upgrades? Because this is what's going to happen. We're in the late years. Now I'm in my, in my what do you call it? The, the twilight years of my, of my first generation. Which means that at the end of this generation, most of these things will go away. So all the resources, all the money will be gone. And the only thing that we'll be able to keep is a, um, one, completed, one of my completed um, experiments. And any upgrades that I've done to my estate. And any knowledge that I've recorded. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's probably not the time to like you know, store too much leftover stuff. Uh, so maybe I do want to get this so that I can record some knowledge. Mm, or what was the, the new scenic overlook once per generation as a free action, record knowledge, um, paying all normal costs. That's pretty good. I can't afford that. I can't afford any of that. I don't even know why I'm looking. Okay, I'm going to send my caretaker to run that experiment. My microscopic studies. Be careful honing metal and glass. I was able to improve magnification by 1000%. Um, so that's going to cost me that gear. Oh, no, wait a second. I had one that needed two gears, didn't I? Yes, this one's even better. No, I'm going to do the pressurized goggles and spend, get him to spend my two gears because the pressurized goggles studied the effect of vacuum cylinders on eyeballs. That does not sound safe. I would not recommend safe. that. But it's going to give me two points, one, two, mm -hmm. and three of these little yellow uh, knowledge. That's my second one there. Okay, well, I'm doing something much simpler than that. I'm just going out into town to grab some resources and I'm actually going to get just another bottle. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to uh, now, ooh, do I want to send, uh, I think I want to store knowledge. I'm going to store knowledge with myself, so record knowledge. So now I want to move my, uh, my yellow engineering, which is going to cost me two. Mm -hmm. And this is going to move it over Ooh, there. That means that I'm be. going to, yeah, I'm going to have a permanent B. And because I've spent two, this allows me to swap essentially two of the um, experiments that I have here and get some fresh ones. So I'm going to get rid of my, um, I really want to keep my yellow engineering ones. I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, that's pretty good. The early blood ritual. I'll, I'll get rid of this altar of blood and steam. That sounds horrible. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm also going to get rid of my small mammal vivisection, even though it's not a great idea because 
in terms of what the game actually does want me to do is I complete that to get those hearts, but I'm not going to do it at that expense. So I've gotten rid of two, which means that I can um, pick up two. Mm -hmm. So I'll get these two. And I got a chemistry one and another occult one. Okay, so uh, back to my turn. I'm quietly over here working towards um, my two chemistry uh, experiments here. I know that towards the end when there's less comp or there's more competition in the village that I'm able to use my board. So I'll complete this experiment later. It's going to give me a blue and a green and that's going to help me with this next chemistry one. I've now picked up an additional potion and now all I need is a dead body. So I'm heading to the cemetery. It's going to increase my creepiness Ooh. and bring this closer. Ooh. But and remember that I have the um, hounds which can chase off the angry mob once per mm. generation. So I'm feeling quite comfortable with that. Uh, so I'm going to get a dead body and that is the end of my turn. Okay, so now I'm going to send my spouse into town and I, I am going to go to the builder's office and build this zoo of curiosities, which even though it's going to give me a creepy, I'm, you know, I'm not at all that creepy in, uh, in, the, uh, in the eyes of the town, so that's fine. I may hold three experiments in my hand between generations. It's going to cost me the two coins that I have. That's a good, good one, I think. And, you know, a zoo of curiosities. I've got an elephant. How much more curious uh, can you get than that? And I do have a zoo starting out, so that's good. There we go. Okay, and now I've got still got some workers here. I have everything I need for these. So I might start doing some experiments. I'm going to use my caretaker to perform this first A experiment. So chemistry experiment. experiment requires one little potion bottle here. And it gives me one victory point, please, Maggie. Okay. And a blue and a green uh, knowledge square. And that is also, because it is a chemistry type, it's going to give me a heart. So I'm adding a heart to my collection. Mm. Maggie. So... Now I'm looking at the options that I could do is I could really, I could do an estate affairs. Now there's not a lot of point in me accumulating money unless there's going to, like money's going to come into play as an event as part of this end thing. However, if I do, this is what I'm thinking. I could either go and get at least one heart. Actually, I think I'll do that. I think I have a fear that if I don't have at least one heart, the game might punish me. And, and you go, haven't done any biology experiments. I know, so, so I'm not going to co wow. collect. So, But this one at least is yeah. free to go there at the moment. Oh, yeah, so it's free. Zero, and it's going to give me one heart, and it's going to okay. move my creepy back. So see, I'm in good. I'm always in the good books with the town. You are. So at least I have one heart. All right, That's well, it. I'm going to do another experiment. So I'm going to move myself down to perform experiment, and I'm going to volunteer sleeping aid trials to better test the effects of prolonged malnutrition in a sunless environment. That doesn't sound good. Um, so that's one bottle, one dead body, mm -hmm. one green and one blue. Yeah. And that is going to give me back a green and a blue and five victory points, please. Wow, you are really one, two, Ooh, three, and four, a heart five. because it's a chemistry oh, experiment. Oh, no. You're so far forward. Okay, so now... I I'm playing a real short game though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a problem. I can't really like I'm not I'm, I can't compete with those hearts. Um, but I will be able to hold three experiments. I've only completed uh, oh in my hand in between generations. Yeah. So good. that's that's good because it means that then I could if I if I kind of rearrange this or do something better with this. I'm going to be able to keep them. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll send my last servant to estate affairs, which is the only thing that they can do on my behalf. Draw three new ones. So let's go maybe for some Bs. One, two, uh, maybe one A. Uh, and see, oh, it's so a one occult and two chemistry. Okay, I'll have to have a look and see which of these I'm going to end up um, keeping because I mostly have some of this. I, for some reason, I thought I had um, kept the one that allowed me to keep some resources, but it's only experiments. So, mm. oh, so I'm going to lose my beautiful knowledge that I never spent. And I'm going to, I'm going to, well, my elephant is going to die of natural causes by the end of uh, my is. lifetime. Yeah. Are you done? I'm done. Did you put back some experiments? Uh, no, I kept them all. Yeah. I am very, very greedy. Yeah. Got to so, watch Yeah. You got to watch me. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm going to just keep this acid containment procedure which is pretty cheap. It's only one, um, yeah, one chemical, but good spotting. Um, I have one worker left, which is my spouse, and I really would like to store this, but if I put my spouse here, my spouse will be lost forever. So, uh, you know, they would have seen too much. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I think that that makes sense. I've got a lot of servants at the moment. I can probably recruit my, my spouse back at this later stage. Mm. And if I don't record it, I'm going to lose it at the end of this round because it's the end of generation. So I am going to store, well, because my father's work is a cult. Oh, but I've got this chemistry. I'm going to store the chemistry one. Mm -hmm. So I'm storing the chemistry one and now I can swap cards if I like, but honestly, it's not going to matter too much because I'm not going to be able to keep them anyway. Oh, should I still try for it? Mm. I think I will. I think I will because there might be one that I'd like to store more than these. At the end of the generation, I'm probably going to store a B because they're harder to get. So I might just take maybe an additional A by putting back an A by putting back, sorry, this B. So I'm going to put back this B and mm -hmm. I've picked up an A. Ooh, yeah, chemistry. Mm. All right, so now I would be passing because I don't have any other And workers. now I pass, so we're at the end of the round. So okay. now we go back to the app and see what it has to tell us. So this is the end of the generation. End of generation. Okay, I have no money and one heart. This is not looking end good. End of round action. So end of round, the servants on Insanity Track become lost. Return mm -hmm. all your pieces to your quarters. Mm -hmm. Grab those. Those. Okay. Then uh, we pass the start player token clockwise and we discard the bottom two upgrades and we replace those. Mm -hmm. So that at the end of the round I also gain a victory point for oh yeah that's my... right oh there we go mm -hmm. okay wow you're so far ahead mm. okay Not for long. so end of round and now okay. count up all the hard tokens collected by right, all, all players, players. I only have one have? I, I really have did not five contribute. so we have six okay so that's six I feel like you, you did most of the heavy lifting Each here. Each individual player. The player with the most heart tokens gains five VP. Nice. Oh, no. She goes One, even two, further three, away. Four, five. Mm -hmm. Players with the most. Yep. Yep. Continue. The player with the... Ah, oh, the player with the most heart tokens will keep one in their quarters and return all of the others. Okay. So I have to return mine. All other players return all of their tokens. And the player with the heart token is Amy. That's me. End of, genera end of generation, remove all player pieces from the board and perform the end of generation. Return the dubious bartering cards Thank to the goodness. box um, and return any remaining stories. So we didn't actually, we didn't actually get to trigger them. Yeah, no, we didn't. Because our insanity didn't get that high. And we also, yeah, the creep didn't get that high. Okay, so end of generation, we get to, comp uh, you might want to put that app aside for a second because mm -hmm. you're going to have to do a few things. Okay. You get to ke uh, keep one incomplete experiment in hand. Well, I actually get to hold three experiments in hand between mm. generations. So that's pretty good. I'm going to keep my two um Actually, I really like this one, my early blood ritual, because it's going to give me a fair, like, it's pretty easy to complete, and it's going to give me a lot of resources. Uh, do I'm I going want... to complete this explosive assessment that I got earlier. So these are all going to go back. Mm, and I think I'm going to keep my, do I really need, yeah, I'm going to keep my microscopy studies. Microscopy. Microscopic studies, and I'm going to keep my, um, maybe the acid containment procedure. So those three, so these are all going to go Oh back. my goodness, I forgot about these. Did I do an A oh, experiment? You, I don't know if you did, well. I did this one, yes I did. So no. I should have oh, got okay. two VP when I did this one. Oh my Oops, goodness. and Even I recorded knowledge, away. so I should have another VP. Oh, you should. Thank and you, you and sorry. You, and you saved good. yourself saved from myself. a maladjustment Ooh. card. So that worked out well. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot about those. Um, but the next thing we need to do as end of generation is store one completed experiment. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which of because both of mine are A's, so I'll I'm just gonna store, store one. one that gives me the so B. So I have a permanent A. Ooh, permanent B there. This one can so it goes go under away. this part of your board. And for the next generation, we will have this B that's counting towards the conditions required for each type of card. So mm -hmm. these are all going to go back now. It's very sad because you work very it, hard yeah. and then you lose it all. Yeah. So I'm going to put all those back. And now the next step is to place just yourself, spouse, and caretaker into your quarters and all others are lost. So, so just yourself, so that's me, the spouse, the and a caretaker. Yep. So we've and just got those we were three. meant to get rid of all of our resources. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, no, that's it hasn't the next happened. step. Okay. So the next so step is is discard all resources and money. So goodbye, $3. That was goodbye, a waste. Goodbye, knowledge. Goodbye, uh, my beautiful goodbye, elephant. Uh, and any remaining completed or incomplete experiments, which we've done, 
and now we reset all creepy and sanity meters to this zero. This goes back, and this goes back. There we go, because that's a new generation. Mm -hmm. And so we go back to early in generation two. two. And so now at the start of this new generation, again, we would do our start of generation and we would trigger everything in our estate, good and bad. So I think both of us have a little creepy yeah, uh, so leftover. Yeah, that would happen every generation. Thank you, uh, parents, for leaving us. Well, I mean, you know, they're leaving us some good stuff. So that's yeah. an interesting thing in terms of like in between generations, the only thing that really remains are all the upgrades to the estate and any knowledge that has been recorded yeah. in a couple of those experiments. So you're basically getting a clean slate, but you are getting to benefit from your previous generations a little bit of stored knowledge that's going to help you get towards your father's work. So in terms of uh, the run through, we'll probably stop it here just because this game is quite a long game with all mm. of the campaign elements, but the remaining two generations also have three rounds contained in them and the rest of the game plays out much like this, except for you are learning a little bit with that stored knowledge and you've got that little bit of experiment knowledge that also mm. passes through the generation. So you're not starting entirely from scratch. Um, but there are a few things that happen along the way in future generations. We will uh, change this deck of estate upgrades to a more powerful mm. set of tiles um, that are going to give you more powerful and useful benefits towards some uh, towards the end game, yeah. some of which is just pure victory points. Um, also, this insanity track gets flipped in the third generation uh, to make it a little bit different in the way that it deals out these uh, what are they the called? Compulsions. compulsions and the, and the maladjustments. Mal you can get them straight away instead of it being at the end of generation yeah. to start yeah, enacting straight away. And in the run through, we didn't get a chance to show um, some of these maladjustments because, you know, I managed to clear the compulsions. Yes, you're very efficient <laughs> at clearing them. But for example, there's one called clinging here. And for the uh, next generation, you must send your spouse along with another worker to take actions. That's really annoying because <laughs> your spouse can no longer go anywhere because you are concerned your spouse is cheating. <laughs> um, this one's called Creep. Anytime one of your pieces is placed on Lost for any reason, you gain one Creepy. You're notorious for being odd. People who have worked uh, for you aren't tight-lipped about it. Mm. So there are all these things that are going to affect your game and they are quite annoying and that's why you need to manage your insanity quite well. And the final thing is that if you're doing a good job of you know, collecting the knowledge across the generations like Maggie is, um, when you get uh, to the end, End or the final column, you're going to get a vanity upgrade. And these vanity upgrades, like for example, the moat, it's going to go into your estate and just gives you 10 victory points at the end of the game. Or in this one, the Cabinet of Curiosities, you score three VP for each completed occult experiment that you've done. So there are some great vanity upgrades that are really going to help you. Mm. And usually you only get those towards the later part of the game. But we hope you enjoyed this run through and it gave you a good sense of how the game mechanics work in with the story as well. Um, we will now move on to our final thoughts in three, two, one.